Coming up on Mountain News this morning, we hear from a man who knew the victims of a deadly plane crash in Kentucky. Plus, the polls are open for early voting starting soon, and Kentucky is looking to have high voter turnout this election season. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, Mountain family. I am Amelia Lee. It is 6 o'clock, and today is October 29th, a beautiful Tuesday morning. It's also time to check in with meteorologist Drake Foley for a look at your forecast this morning. Drake, I have been complaining, I would say, about these warmer-than-average temperatures, but you and some of you out there might be very excited, especially as Halloween looks to be a bit warmer, too. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, as you're going out this morning, you're probably going to need to turn on the seat warmers or at least turn up the heat in your car. But then as you're heading home, the AC is going to have to be fully cranked. Right now we're sitting at 54 degrees and then the humidity sitting around 94%. So a bit of patchy fog is definitely possible as we head into the rest of your after well, early morning, I guess, into the afternoon. That will all kind of go away. And then over the next week, we're looking at above, above average temperatures. And speaking of those above average temperatures, this is a look at those. 78 on Wednesday and Thursday. And then it drops off after a cold front that we're going to have on Halloween. And then it's going to warm right back up into the next week in your election day, sitting at 76 degrees as well. Looking at the rest of your day, it's going to get up to 77 by 3 p.m., but then cool back off as we head into the rest of the night. Amelia? Drake, thank you. School officials in Knox County are investigating a basketball coach. A viral video online reportedly shows a coach using explicit language with players in a locker room. Knox County school officials say they want to assure parents they are investigating the matter and will take necessary action to uphold the standards of their athletic programs. Since this is a pending personal issue, they were not able to comment any further. Federal investigators are looking into a small aircraft crash that killed two people. It happened Sunday evening in Jessamine County. A single powered parachute crashed in a field near Ashgrove Road. 72 year olds Michael Murphy and his wife Connie died. Leaders say Murphy was an experienced pilot and had been flying for more than two decades. Trad Rayan owns the Easy Pump up the road. He says that he's just shocked. Good people, friendly. I knew, I knew him for a long time. Um, he stopped, they, they both stopped in here, him and his wife, and he would bring his kid, grandkids here, and they, they fly out here almost every day. The NTSB says a full pre preliminary report of the incident is expected to be released in 30 days. With the 2024 general election on the calendar for next Tuesday, some voters are already hitting the polls. WYMT's Buddy Forbes has a look at early voting in Pike County. Pike County voters have seen a variety of changes through the years with a mission to make the polls more accessible. More and more people are voting at their vote centers compared to, you know, used to we had 57 precincts, so you had 57 polling places. Um, pe people vote where they're close to work and stuff now. From the shift to voting centers that welcome voters from anywhere in the county to the expansion of early voting opportunities. I think in the governor's race a year ago, we had around 500 requests for absentee ballots, and we had almost 1,400 this time. So, you know, uh, close to triple the amount of people requesting absentee ballots. County Clerk Daryl Pugh says with mail-in ballots rolling in and excused absentee voters making their way to the polls through Wednesday, the response to this year's general election looks promising. We've had over 200 people with excused absentee voting. I think it was 228 earlier today, I asked. Um, and that's up from, from what we've had in the past. Um, some people have requested their absentee ballots and they've not got them in time, so they come in here and they want to cancel the absentee ballot and go ahead and vote here. With early voting opening Thursday through Saturday at the Pike County Library's Lee Avenue branch and the Belfry Courthouse, who says there are plenty of opportunities to vote, but he says being informed is just as important as showing up. We need a, an educational program to teach people to uh, realize what's on the ballot. Just for instance, this time we have two amendments on the back, makes it a lengthy ballot. A lot of people don't vote the back side of the ballot. Reminding people to pay attention at the polls. In Pike County, 
Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. Some great reminders. Thank you, Buddy. Secretary of State Michael Adams shared a post on X saying more than 16,400 Kentuckians took advantage of in-person excused absentee voting last week, which he says is a 114% increase to this time two years ago. Now let's take a look at a couple of mayoral races that are happening in Pike and Floyd counties. In the race for mayor of Elkhorn City, that will be a three candidate race between Roxanne Blankenship, Jana Adkins and Nathan Bryant. Bryant has been the city's interim mayor following Mike Taylor's resignation earlier this year. And in the battle for mayor of Prestonsburg, that race is also between three candidates, Danny Martin, David Gearhart and Rick Hughes. Hughes is the city's interim mayor after Les Stapleton resigned. There are plenty of races going on here in Eastern Kentucky between candidates on Election Day, but you'll also have a chance to vote on a bevy of topics. Along with cannabis in many counties, folks in three counties in our area will cast their ballots regarding a wet, dry vote. Those counties are Letcher County, Morgan County, and Menifee County. The mayor of Somerset is proposing an ordinance to address safety concerns created by panhandling. If passed, it would prohibit standing in medians and approaching vehicles on certain roadways. Mayor Allen Keck says he is hearing complaints about this issue at an alarming rate. A second reading and vote on the ordinance is set for next month. Early in-person voting in Kentucky starts on Thursday, that's October 31st. Mail-in absentee ballots must be received by 6 in the evening on Election Day, that's November 5th, to be counted. And if you are registered to vote, you can find election guides, polling locations, and sample ballots at govote.ky.gov. Yeah, as you're heading out the door this morning, it's going to actually be a little cool, but that's actually going to change as we get into the afternoon. That out the door forecast has you sitting at 57 at 8 a.m. And then as we head out for the rest of the night, sitting at 4, 78 by 4 p.m. And as you're heading home, 76 degrees. And I would say if you're heading out this morning, grab a medium coffee. You don't need one too large, especially if it's a hot coffee, because it's going to get warm real quick. So medium will do. And then over the next couple of weeks, we're actually going to see our sunsets change dramatically. We're going to see 647 tonight. And then one week, we're going to lose about eight minutes, 639. And then just think about it. We're three weeks away from having the sunset at 525 p.m. And that's going to change because we're actually ending daylight savings time. Your clock's going to go back one hour this Sunday. Talk more about that in your first alert forecast. Amelia? Drake, every day is an iced coffee day for me. Well, we now know who will be cultivating and processing cannabis for medicinal use in Kentucky. A lottery to select more than two dozen businesses to either grow or make marijuana into a form of medicine for certain conditions was held yesterday. The names of 26 businesses were named in this lottery. Officials say it was totally random and full of safeguards. Governor Andy Bashir says it is very important that all of this stay within the state's borders. Will be a Kentucky business employing Kentuckians, moving our economy and our health care forward. Medical marijuana can be legally made from available licensed dispensaries after January 1st of next year. Medical marijuana will be available for those 18 and over who qualify for certain health conditions. Thank you for joining Mountain News this morning. More news is on the way. Young people are revving up to vote. We'll take a look at how college students are mobilizing ahead of Election Day.